I can't wait to tell the rest of the family about what's happened to you. What's that mean? I never thought I'd see Zack and I Dingle doing women's work. Now listen, you. Is there any more grub, love? Hey, help yourself. I can't take much more of this. It's the last day we can go up until we go. <laughs> hey, who's this? Uh -oh. Now the party can start. <laughs> That'll be the rest of the clan. And about time, too. They're supposed to be meeting us at the church. Well, I told them to come here first. What's the matter, Zach? Are you embarrassed? <laughs> What's finished this? <laughs> hey, Lisa, we're going to be needing some more of this stew. I came in here for a quiet cup of tea. Would you mind leaving me alone? Oh, well, excuse me for breathing. I don't have anything to say to you. It can't be good for Andy, you being on such a short fuse all the time. I don't want to upset you, Viv, but you're not going to wind me up again. The poor lad might have avoided all this with the right guidance. Andy is having a miserable time, but that is entirely down to you. You won't give him a chance to move on. And Donna won't be herself until that lad is removed from that school. Look, I don't have to listen to this. I am just trying to be a good mother, Sarah. I think that's what's important, don't you? Can't you understand? There's nothing you can do about it now. Just leave it. We'll see. Sarah, your tea. I think she's wound up about something. Shame to waste it. What? Marlon's told me that you're going to ask Kelly to marry you. Yeah, you up here for me? You're asking Kelly to marry you? Yes. Well, you're 18, aren't you? And you and Kelly have only just started, you know. You see something wrong with this picture? What are you trying to say, Marlon? Well, we're just speaking to his friends, right? So you don't want me to ask Kelly to marry me? Yes. Too late. Already have. You what? I'm joking. You thought she'd dump me, didn't you? What? It's not... You thought she'd run a mile as soon as I mentioned marriage? No, it's not that. We're just trying to look at... great mates, you know. Nice to know what you both think of me. What's that? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about Lisa, Zach. She's not really one of us, is she? I am very proud of that woman. You keep your worries to yourself. Hello? Yeah, Lisa Clegg here. Lisa Clegg? Have you got that? Yeah, there's, uh, well, there's good business reasons why she's using her own name. All right. No. But I need to get out of here. This lot driving me completely mad. Mandy! Shut up! I've got an idea. Why don't you get rid of the Dingle name altogether? You could be the Cleggs. <laughs> <laughs> the Cleggs. <laughs> Zach Cleggs. I've got some big news. Oh, it's getting really tense downstairs. Andy! I'm oh, sorry, go on. Roy's proposed. He what? Well, I'm not taking it seriously. Did you just say Roy proposed to you? Last week. And what are you going to say to him? I don't know. Do you mind if I sit with you? Are you sure you want to? Andy, I know it wasn't your fault what your dad did. I reckon I could have stopped him. Yeah, or I could have told someone about him. There's no point thinking like that. I spent a whole night after Dad died thinking that we should never have even left London. Maybe you shouldn't. I like being here. I can't imagine being in the city now. Oh, we should never left Churchill House. What's Churchill House? It's the flats on the estate where I used to live with my gran. Yeah, but it's nice to hear, isn't it? None of them would have lasted five minutes on that estate. I wish I could help you sort things out. You best not sit next to me. They might start picking on you next. Oh, that's an impressive display. Yes, yes, I'm very proud of my parishioners. We've raised nearly 60 pounds for the roof fund so far. Now, uh, Parents and godparents at the front, other guests behind. Hey, we want a good view. You'll have an excellent view, but we wouldn't like the godparents to be able to get to the font. They make our dingles look quite ordinary. <sighs> Last time I were in church, it was Zebediah's funeral. Hey, you want to eat that one who uh, wanted that you that he liked? Buried with you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about Zebediah and the you. Not in church, anyway. Here he is now, the hero of the hour. Uh, godparents at the front, please, Paddy. Zach. 
Just watch his step. What's the problem? No problem. He used to go out with our Mandy, and he promised us he'd help us save the house, but then he went back on his word, so she dumped him. Hey? Well, we needed 6,000 quid, didn't we? And it's now to him. But he won't help us. And he's going to be the godfather to your daughter. He's going to go fine. No one's going to spoil a day like this. Hey, Mandy, is that right about this man? Dropping the family in it? Shut it, Ezra! Get off! You. You're only half the dingle you were. I'm getting sick of this. If you want to start something, I'm ready. Right here, right now. All right, lads, that's enough. Uh, well, here's Ashley. Get for you. Mm -hmm. Christenings are probably my favourite ceremony. You always find such simple, uncomplicated joy on these occasions. Is that Andy Hopwood's file? Yes, it's confidential, of course. Of course, the last thing I want to do is interfere in anybody else's business tea. Thank you. My main concern is Donna. I understand. How's she getting on? Well, I thought she was uh, getting better. She seemed to be coping, and then she went back to school. Well, perhaps it was too soon for her. Oh, she would have been fine, but as soon as she saw that boy, Andy, it brought it all back. Oh, has he been bothering her? His dad murdered her dad. Of course he's been bothering her. He should be chucked out, but the governors won't lift a finger. Well, there's clearly some unresolved tensions here, but I'm sure you understand that social services want what's best for both Donna and Andy. Oh, well, that's simple. The best thing for Andy is to move him into a different area. I was talking to Sarah Sugden this morning. She said herself how miserable he is. I see. He is unhappy at school, but they're just too proud to move him. They'd probably be grateful for a little bit of a push from you. Bourbon? As Belle grows up, she needs help and encouragement so that she learns to be faithful in public worship and private prayer, to live by trusting God. Belle are you sure you're all right with me being involved in this? And it's what Lisa wants. No, but are you all right? Willing to give it Daddy, to her by your prayers, I'm fine with it. Your you teaching, need a big time. And by your example. I am willing. I am willing. Willing. What do you want? I just came to say I'm sorry. Obviously, me and Marlon had got it wrong. I didn't know that you and Kelly were so serious. Well, you know now. Look, I didn't realise how much she'd changed since Vic died. You mean she's more likely to be interested in me now? No, I'm just saying that she's more mature. You're saying because she's unhappy, I'm moving in on her. Oh, come on, Roy. I'm just trying to look out for you. Yeah, well, I can look out for myself, thanks. What's up with him? Kelly dumped him. Hardly. I think they've got a long-term thing going. <laughs> nah, mate. You're way off. How do you know? Trust me. You couldn't be fair from the truth. Baptising my little girl. Can't be nicking his cash, can I? Oh, I was afraid of this. What do you mean? You've gone soft. I haven't. The legendary Zachariah Dingle, a house owner, your wife keeps you, and you spend your days changing nappies. Have I just turned enough for you? You know what you are, don't you? You're middle class. Hey, you've gone too far now. You try and stop us, and I'll make sure every Dingle in the country knows about this. You'll be cast out the clan forever. Do that. Let us pray. We're going to pray. I ask these questions, which you must answer for yourselves and for Bell. Do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject, I reject her. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? We renounce them. Zach? Uh, I do. What? So, sorry, uh, what do I have to say? 
Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? I repent of them. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Who was that? That was a Miss Dooley from Social Services. She's coming over this evening to have a talk about Andy. Well, I, I suppose it's just routine after all that's happened. Well, I'm not so sure. I'm worried, Jack. Oh, we'll be all right. Just have to look like perfect parents right now. I have a few things to do. Andy. Hiya. How was your day? Usual. Ah, right. See you later. So, uh, do you want to tell me about it? Not really. Andy, I can just about put up with any of Viv Winter's comments as long as I know you're not taking them to heart. Look, sit down. I'll get you a drink. And you and I are going to have a talk. Belle Lisa Dingle, I baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This is a proud day. The Dingle dynasty continues. Receive this light. Jay. Uh, what's it for? It's to show that you've passed from darkness into light. Oh, Zach, aren't you glad we had a christening now? Aye. Chuffed to bits. Viv is highly strung. And frankly, Donna's no better. Any rational person would know that you were not to blame for Vic's death. Donna ain't blaming me. She's being nice. Well, that's not what Viv said. She don't know anything. What do you mean? Nothing. Andy, are you hiding something? I promise I won't say anything. Who did you promise? What are you talking about? Andy, trust me. Whatever's on your mind, you can tell me, and if you don't want it to go any further, it won't. Can't we just leave it? No. No, we can't. I told Donna that my dad was here before Christmas. What? Donna knew that Billy was here before he killed Vic. Why haven't you said so before? I promised Donna I wouldn't. Well, it's very noble of you, Andy, but... Oh, you said you won't tell anyone. Oh, you won't, will you? That was a lovely service, Ashley. Thank you very much. But, yeah, you've done us proud. <laughs> uh, you'll be joining us at home, I hope, to whack the baby's head. Hey, where have you been? I, I asked them to check if everything was ready for the party. Is it all ship shape? It's all ready and waiting. Oh, Zach. You think of everything. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope this is a convenient time. Andy, how are things at school? All right. Why'd you ask? Well, we've had a report that there are some difficulties there. And has this report come from Viv Windsor? Sarah. I really do have to respect the privacy of everyone involved. Viv is just being vindictive. There are obviously strong feelings here. Look, she's completely misunderstood the situation. She doesn't even know her own daughter. Mum. Actually, it's Andy that I'm concerned about at the moment, not Donna. Why is that? Well, the report I've received suggests that Andy's unhappy at school. Is this true? No. Andy. Well, shall we continue? Right. Well, I think I'm ready to go now. Well, you look nice. Have a lovely time. Well, lovely isn't the word I choose to describe a brewery social evening, but I'll, I'll do my best, my dear. <laughs> now, everything should be fairly quiet here. I'm, most of our regulars will be at the Dingles. Don't worry, Ellen. I'll look after things. We'll look after things. Yeah, do try and make sure she doesn't blow up the pub while I'm gone, will you? I'll keep her in hand. You all right, mate? Why shouldn't I be? Sorry, I spoke. <laughs> Do you have to pour over her like that in here? Scott? It's called glove, mate. Maybe not used to it. 
Come on. Hello. What? What can I get you? A machine gun, please. Sorry? A pint will do. Why are you staring at him? Never mind him. How about a smile? Oh, this is a bit friendlier than last week. Yeah, I was in a bad mood last week. Forgive me. Maybe. I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> it never changes, does it? I guess not. Drink up, this time we went. <laughs> I knew you'd come right, Zach. Good thing old blood will show in the end, eh? Hey, what are you two talking about? Oh, he's uh, just saying how happy he is, you know. The way the uh, christening's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think you're being a bit selfish? I'm trying to enjoy myself. We obviously have different tastes. <laughs> I'm leaving now. Are you coming? No, I'm not. Everything all right? Hey, do you fancy a dance? Come on, I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> That's more like it. Hey, what's up? I've had a moment. What do you mean a moment? <laughs> I just remembered. I love the thing. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, this is exactly the opposite of what it was like at home. Oh, come on. <laughs> I told Lisa I didn't mind you being here. But I do. That's a spoil a good occasion, eh? Uh, Butch, I need a partner. I told you I'd protect you. <laughs> <laughs> a true dingle doesn't forgive and forget so easily. You're right. Go on, belt him one. Zack! Behave! He might have delivered Bell. But he still preferred his job to helping us. He may have made a mistake in the past, but we should forgive him and welcome him back into the family. Have you never done anything you regretted? Huh? Need a hand? And what do you want? As if I didn't know. And why are you asking if you already know? You can't just snap your fingers and pretend everything's fine between us. Right, well, let me just say one thing, and then if you want me to, well, I'll leave you alone, all right? Go on, then. Right, well, we've had our problems, I know that. But I've grown up a lot. And I've looked at the last few months, and, well, I have to say, Trish, I reckon you're the best thing that's happened to me since I've come back from the army. That's nice. So what do you think? I reckon you put on that sincere voice for all the girls, and you think you're God's gift. Right. But... I like that in a man. I'll see you after work. <laughs> we just want Andy's life to be as stable as possible. That's what we all want, Mrs Sugden. The question I'm asking is how that might best be achieved and where that might best be achieved. What do you mean by that? Well, what if it turned out to be in Andy's best interest that he was moved to a school right out of the area? But it isn't. I really must be going. I'm sorry to have taken so much of your time. We'll be in touch. Watch it. Now, where were we? Of course I am. What do you mean? Well, you're not quite as enthusiastic as usual. That was stupid. Oh, prove me wrong, then. You know what he meant it, don't you? If only just started going out. Well, he sees things differently to you, Kel. You've got to take him seriously. <laughs> hey, I haven't out. No, I haven't, I haven't had as much fun since. Well, since the last single party I came to. Oh, we've missed having you around, love. It's been a really good night, hasn't it? 
Yeah, terrific. I was just saying to Lisa. I'm really glad we can be mates again. So am I. I never wanted us to fall out. Penny. Ready to go? Bye then. Yeah, I'll, um... <clears throat> Bye! Mulder, what a day! What a day! <laughs> Zach, anytime you want to stay at our shack, you and your whole family are welcome. Thanks for everything, it's been great. You up already? <laughs> Has he not told you? We're staying for a month. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for giving me one of the happiest days of my life. Yeah, well, no, I knew it were important to you. Yeah, but it was a lovely day for both of us, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was a cracker. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Great party. Cheers, Lisa. Thank you. Ah, it's great, is this, isn't it? Stars, music, you and me alone together. Is that the plough? Kelly, I'm, uh, I'm trying to be patient, but I'm having trouble. What do you mean? You've had a few days to think about it. Marry me, Kelly. What do you say? Aren't things all right as they are? You could be even better. We're too young. How can we be too young if you're sure? You are serious about me, aren't you? Yeah. See, the thing is, me and you, we've got history. We're young, but we've known each other years. Even Scott doesn't know you like I do. I need more time. So, it's not a no, then? I said I need more time, all right? All right. I'm sorry. You'll think about it. I promise you, I'll be thinking about it. Scott, it happens to everyone. Not to me, it doesn't. You're not going to tell anybody, eh? Of course not. Let's talk about it. No, just leave it. You're probably stressed about something. You were a bit funny earlier with Roy and Kelly. Will you get off my back? There is something wrong, isn't there? Oh, shut up. 